Congress is heading back to the Hill, Virgin Airlines is going green, and MySpace is about to be on a lockdown. Hi everyone and welcome to GetTheDaily.com, your online source for news. I'm Andrea Renee and get ready because here comes your national news. Congress is getting ready to go back to work and hopefully make some things happen in 2008. But already the ominous veto is being tossed around. The giant defense bill that Congress passed is expected to be shot down by the White House due to a provision that could open the way for lawsuits against the new Iraqi government. Plus, the House Democrats are planning a veto override vote for the child health insurance program that was shot down by President Bush last year. There are many other issues that Congress needs to tackle in 2008, so hopefully they can stop taking cheap shots at each other and start working together. Let's all pray for that, right? Someone that is making some positive steps in the right direction is billionaire founder of Virgin Atlantic, Richard Branson. It was announced that one of his airline 747s will make its first flight on biofuel during a demonstration flight from London to Amsterdam. Branson said that the flight would reveal crucial information on how to reduce aviation's carbon footprint. Branson has already pledged 10 years of profits from his airline to alternative fuels research and is setting a great example for other transportation industries. See, you know, you guys, if we all work together, we can stop global warming. You just got to be proactive. Moving on, popular social networking site MySpace has made a deal with 45 states in the U.S. to add extensive measures to protect its users from sexual predators. Age verification technologies are among the proposed measures, plus MySpace will hire independent monitors for the site. The agreement is supposed to be announced today sometime in New York. Attorney generals in numerous states have been seeking strong controls over sites like Facebook and MySpace, saying they are choice hunting grounds for pedophiles. Hey, you know, no one ever said the internet was a safe place, but let's be realistic. You can't exactly put restrictions on everything. I mean, I don't want to have to give my birth date every time I go to my MySpace account. Come on. All right, you guys, that's it for the national headlines from GetTheDaily.com. I'm Andrea Renee, and I will see you next time.